Back now with a brand new look at what could be the future of travel getting from place to place much quicker than we do now. It's called Hyperloop, and the inspiration behind it is the man behind SpaceX and Tesla. The vision is it'll be up and running in five years. And NBC's Gotti Schwartz takes us inside the race to make it happen. Three, two, one, start. A blur across the desert, zero to 100 in two seconds. The first step in a plan to shuttle up to 100,000 people a day, hundreds of miles at the speed of sound. All of that happened on purpose, so that was really great. Today, Hyperloop One tested its propulsion system, responding to a call put out by Elon Musk for a high-speed super tube by the year 2020. The Hyperloop Vision shoot a few pods filled with people or cargo every minute, capable of zipping from places like L.A. to San Francisco in half an hour. Now the next step for Hyperloop One is to take a two-mile-long stretch of tubes and build a testing ground here in the Nevada desert and hope to have it unveiled by the end of the year. Other companies are also working on alternate designs using airlock tubes, magnets, and levitation to more than triple the speeds of the world's fastest bullet trains. But skeptics ask, what about high costs, land rights, and is it safe in an earthquake zone? Just the environmental process takes at least five years, and then you're talking about the detailed design. I think five years from now is laughable. And how about those who may be scared of zooming 760 miles an hour through a vacuum in a windowless capsule? While we're in that environment, it should be as smooth as an elevator ride. But dreamers don't see obstacles, rather an opportunity to introduce an entirely new way to travel. Gotti Schwartz, NBC News, Las Vegas.